Here's an earlier work of Don's pure realism style. What year is it? I think it's, is it 1958? We have uh, Don Clausen's studio. You can see the paint down here. Show all the stuffed animals in the ceiling. <laughs> and we have some uh, stuffed animals up here. Really fun. And over here we have a work in progress. I'll zoom out. Over here we have some of the blades of different sizes that he uses to make the abstract works from really large ones to Venetian blinds. Venetian blinds. Show the palette. So here you can see how he blends the paint. You have some very light blues. Uh, two by eight feet. Yeah, so this is a huge palette as you can see. It's like, it's like two by eight basically. Here, here's a Venetian blind. So here we have one of the uh, Venetian blinds that he uses to make the work. Here we have a Daffy Duck. Really fun. Here we have one of the earlier portraits. Is this your son or? Uh, no, that was a friend of mine. We have some sketches in the background. Another portrait there. There's a portrait. There's my self-portrait. There. You have another self-portrait. <laughs> okay, good. So here you have a huge collection of the work. Which they ship out to the galleries. And they have it well organized in different stacks and different styles of work. All prepared, ready to go. Show me wooden. Here we have uh, some wooden figures. Don's idea of a vacation. It's a vacation figures. <laughs> I know when he's on a vacation, that's what he wants to do. Sculpt. Sculpt. This is that painting that Mike was talking about. This figure up here. And I've always liked this figure too. The one that we're selling to uh, Pearson has always been one of my favorites too. I'm almost to see it go, but I'm glad he's getting it. Yeah. Uh, painting is just sort of blocked in, mm -hmm. and I didn't feel like going any further defining anything more. Yep. That's enough right there. It's, yeah, you just got the, just the feel of it, right? Exactly. It's still a painting. This one really carries from a distance. It's, it's actually better from that's a distance a good, than That's a close. good painting. Let me get that from a distance, see how that looks. Yeah, that looks really sharp. There's some more wooden figures. Mm -hmm. So what's the story behind all these wooden figures? Oh, I just for fun was doing them. Little Vikings. Yeah, that's definitely really fun. Animal cartoons that uh, I did when I was going to art school. Mm -hmm. I had to do these and uh, sell them for money. Were these the ones you guys sold on the the Berkeley streets, like going yeah on the streets in the sixties? Well, 60s? no, the, I don't know if I did sell them on the street, but I sold them to shops. Okay, there was um toy store over in Civic Center in Frisco. Yeah. And she sold a lot of them. Were these some of the ones that like Michael would run up and down the street trying to sell? M Mike? Michael Fuller? 
No, he never was involved with okay. selling my stuff. Well, he said he, he was. He was. He was uh, one of the kids that uh, I moved in with yep. this house and on the, where I was living temporarily. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike Fuller and Nan, and they, they four kids themselves. Yeah. That's not a bad painting, is it? Yeah, that's pretty good. What do you think? Oh yeah, it's really, I like it. It's very bold, um, really sharp angles. Uh, really nice smooth blends on the reds, a green to the red, and you have some really nice highlights with the white to the browns. Well, I'll show you why I want to go to the sun. To the paintings. Oh, it's yeah. It's nothing like a big spot, like a white with a little bug in the middle. Yeah, some of our artists have the same issue. So this is where they use for drying, right? Yeah. While this paint's still dry. wet, make sure no fruit flies get attracted and get stuck in the paint. Because you're going to have a great big broad area and see if a, see a fly lands into that when it's wet. Yep. There's no way you can... There's no way to fix it. Yeah. You, you have to repaint it. You, well, you can't even do that. The paintings mm -hmm. obscured the painting, so there's no reflection. So when I, I stay, I uh, close up for the, the, the day. Yeah. I put that up so I can view my painting, you know, from time to time without a reflection of all that stuff. Okay. You might want to take a picture of that note. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love that. Really fun. We all take a picture of some of these note. notes. Don't take notes. Don't take notes. These are various notes that Don. Don philosophies on painting. Yeah, this is really interesting. So you use a table saw to hand cut your own frame? You yeah, my structure bars and Okay. So you basically built from scratch all of your own, from yeah. the stretcher bars, you have the canvas, yeah. staple it down, gesso, uh, water. I used to buy uh, framing material, but the, the ones I like are no longer in business, so I'm trying to make my own. Uh... So what was the manufacturer you used before? Noel Chapin. Noel Chapin, okay. But they went out of business. Okay. And the frame molding you get today is just awful. You know, I, they come up with these enormous, I don't know what they are. Yeah. But they're just a simple molding, you know, I mean, guess you can't get it anymore. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go down to the... A lot of stuff back there too, structure wow. bars and 